Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to the cleaning party. Happy Saturday. I don't know about you guys, but I love doing some cleaning on Saturday mornings. Uh, the kids are usually kind of being lazy and just hanging out. And I, sometimes I can rope the husband into helping, but normally he's working out in the garage. But I just like to do some cleaning Saturday mornings, get things in order for the rest of the weekend so I can kind of sit back and relax. So on this particular day, I'm starting out in the master bathroom and you guys will see me using this cleaner throughout this entire video. It is a mixture of distilled water, rubbing alcohol, and a little essential oil and that is it. And I use it literally in every single room. So I found that it works really well on my shower glass doors. Um, if you just spray it on there, let it sit for a little while and use the squeegee to wipe it off and all your hard water stains come right off. And this works really good on the tile. I use it on mirrors, countertops, everything. Uh, and then as far as like cleaning the toilets and everything, usually what I do is use vinegar. So we're trying to like move to like more of a natural cleaning products and get rid of the bleach and the ammonia and all that nasty smelly stuff. Um, don't get me wrong, I still sometimes use bleach occasionally, but I've been trying to get away from it and just use vinegar for cleaning. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a video shortly showing you guys how I clean my house with Dollar Tree items and Dollar Tree products and whatnot. So stay tuned for that one. If you guys are new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get into some cleaning. So yeah, I'm moving on to my tub now and I pretty much have to get into the bathtub to clean it. And I'm just using my wet microfiber with that same cleaner that I talked about. And it just, it works so well on all the surfaces that I've tried it on so far. And it actually works really well on stainless steel too. So like I said, you guys, I'm using that same cleaner on my mirrors too. And I'm just using, uh, oh my gosh, what the heck kind of cloth is this? It's from Norwex. It's like the glass cleaner cloth. I know you can find them on Amazon too. I had one from Amazon a while back, but this just works really good. And you use it dry, but I'm just, I just spray the cleaner on there and then use the dry uh, mirror cloth. And now on to the sheets. I have to give a shout out to these Amazon sheets. So we went to our friend's house one day and she was giving us a tour of the house and we got to talking about her bed and she's like, oh my gosh, you have to look at these sheets. They're from Amazon. They're the best sheets in the world and they're just amazing, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, cool, how much are they? And she was almost embarrassed to tell us, but yeah, they're like $25 and they are so soft. I love them. I'll try to find the ones I got and link it down below for you guys, but they are amazing. And so at this point, I needed to just take a little rest, you know. Um, and then onto the dusting, I just usually when I dust in the bedroom, I just use my little dusting mitt that I got from Norwex as well. And I sometimes spray it with like Pledge or something like that, but at this time, I was just using it dry and it actually picks up the dust really, really well. Oh, hey Peyton. All right, now onto the kitchen. I swear he's my little helper in the kitchen. He follows me around everywhere whenever I clean in the kitchen. I think he's begging for food. Um, but so I usually just start with my little coffee bar and I'm just going through and decluttering and just getting rid of the kids' messes and my messes and whatnot. And I'm using that same cleaner, uh, different rag of course, but I'm using that same cleaner on all the countertops and the cabinets in the kitchen as well. Break down all your 
And now for the cooktop, I'm using this cleaning paste. It's from Norwex again. I swear I'm not a Norwex consultant, nor is this sponsored. I just really like a lot of their products. So this stuff works really good on bathtubs, countertops, stovetops, just anything like that. And I just kind of put it on like car wax and let it sit for a couple minutes. Not a couple minutes, a couple seconds. And then I wipe it off with a damp cloth. And for the sink, I just put a little dish soap in there and I'm just using one of my little sponges and I'm cleaning out the sink with that. So if you guys have seen my videos before, you know that I am obsessed with my little Roomba. Her name is Maya. My five-year-old named her. And there she goes. She is usually running whenever I'm cleaning because by the time she's done and I'm done cleaning, I can usually mop the floors. Sometimes I'll have to do a little vacuuming on my own, like I'll use my Dyson, the handheld one. But normally she does an awesome job with those floors and now I can just move on to mopping. So I'm using this uh, cleaner from Grove. I think it's an Aunt Fanny's. It's like a vinegar uh, cleaner and I'm using my O Cedar mop from Amazon that I'm obsessed with. This is the best mop ever. I did a review on this. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it up above if you guys want to check that out. But it just works so good. I've tried so many different mops and this one is by far my favorite. So that pretty much does it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and happy Saturday, happy weekend. I hope this gave you a little motivation to get up and maybe clean a little bit before the weekend really gets started. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys all on my next video. Bye.